We have several different ways and tools available to us when we'd like to make adjustments to our MIDI velocity. Here I've got a one bar MIDI part, which is triggering an impact. I'll go ahead and just double click on that so we can open up the editor. And then we can see down at the bottom here, we have our velocity information or the velocity lane. And if we just hover over one of the velocity bars, we can see that our mouse arrow changes to a pointer finger here. And then at this point, I can just click, hold and drag and make an adjustment like so. If you'd like to make adjustments to multiple velocities at the same time, you can just click, hold and drag. We can see then we have all of these selected. I'll click, hold and drag like so. And notice that we have an auditioning of our notes as we adjust. This is useful if you have, or useful if you have multi-sampled instruments, say a piano for instance, at different velocities, you're gonna get a different uh, sort of timbre in your sound. But just know that you can turn the auditioning off by clicking on this checkbox there. And now when I make an adjustment, we have no auditioning. I'll go ahead and turn that back on. If we would like to adjust velocities in a more freeform way within the velocity lane, we can actually activate the paint tool by pressing three on our QWERTY keyboard, and then just click, hold and drag to adjust the velocities independently. And I'll go ahead and control Z to undo. And coming back to the arrow tool by pressing one, note that we can adjust velocities in the main editor area here by holding control and alt and clicking in the center of a MIDI note and then dragging up or down. We can adjust that velocity like so. We can actually do that to a group of notes as well. And this can be a useful feature if you have closed the perimeter automation lane by clicking here. If you needed more real estate, then you can easily access velocity uh, or edit the velocity information in that way. Lastly, let's take another quick look at the paint tool because if I click on this down arrow, we can see that there are several different modes for the um, paint tool. And we took, saw the free hand and how we could use that, but just know we can choose the line and come down and we see we have that horizontal line next to the paint tool. And in this way, we can actually create a velocity ramp. And we can cycle between those modes by continuing to press three. So I'll press three again. You notice we have this parabola. So I'm gonna control Z to take that ramp out. We have the parabola selected. So we can do that. I'll press control Z to undo and press three again. We then have square and so on. You can see what else we have. They may not always work for your situation, but just know that th that is available. Lastly, we have transform. So I'll select that. We have crosshairs now. And if I click, hold and drag, we can select a group of MIDI velocities. I can come to the top here and push those all down. I can come to the upper right corner, create a velocity ramp, come to the, or come to the, that's the left corner. And then at the right corner, we can achieve the same thing 